Greetings and salutations. I would like to welcome everybody to the Full Sport Press Podcast, the premier sports podcast for the consummate sports fan. And this is your one-stop shop for all sports-related news and topics. I am Jay Ho. And it's your man, Coach Lock. Weezy Producer Show in the building. Say what's up, Weezy. What up, what up, what up? What's going on? It's cracking, fellas. What's poppin', Weezy? Not much, man. How you doing? I'm all right. You all right? It's yeah. Good. What about you, Coach? I'm good. You good? You all right? I'm solid. Yeah. I'm solid. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. solid. Like a rock. Like a rock. How's your weekend, big dog? Oh man, it's good. Just chill yeah. out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, no. Mm-hmm. Appreciate you watching that game, man. For sure. Yeah. No doubt. There. Yeah. Um, uh, Pacquiao fight. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't worth the time. Nah. Nah. I that was Wasn't worth the time. It was. It, yeah. It was wet. It was terrible. He won though. No, nah, he won. That's the best. That's the best. Nah, nah. nah. He not unanimous. Unanimous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He ain't knocking nobody back out. Nah. How many belts he got now? One? He's got one belt. Because yeah. he retired. He, he had a tire, right? Coach said he back on that juice. He might be. Man, he was moving he too fast. He had too much man. energy, man. He was bouncing. Oh, man. my God. Like, he, he was moving just, all around. The joint. He ain't looked 37 out there. Nah, he looked 27. <laughs> he took something. Yeah, he I don't know what it was. But he but wasn't. You think him and uh, your boy fight one more time? Never. Who, Floyd? Nah, that's dumb. It's that shit is sick. He's dumb. Yeah. I think Floyd dumb. That's what I'm saying. He's dumb. Yeah, I think Floyd's dumb. over with. I ain't no reason to come back. Mm-mm. He might get stupid though, and come back in like three years from now, and then money get funny. I'm mess, telling you. He messed up his whole legacy. I think his money good. I ain't. His money good. He's his money good now. Now. He's spending no I ain't, but you think about it. When last time you seen him spend like he normally does? Yeah. When he put up. That's just because he ain't talking about yeah, it. He betting every day. Yeah, he betting. He, he betting every yeah, day. Yeah, he probably winning a lot. You lose more, you win. Tell him, you. You lose more than you win. <laughs> you gotta tell me. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I ain't with them mind. For sure. We'll talk about it out there. For sure. For sure. Now make sure you check out the SoundCloud page. Go catch up. My bad, brother. That was your weekend. What you doing? I mean, I, I had a good weekend, man. You know what I'm saying? The only person uh, participating in FSP is No Shave November. <laughs> I, I'm with uh, you. Man, you can't grow a mistake. <laughs> I, I didn't say I couldn't grow. I'm just saying I'm with you. Whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? So I got a haircut. I'm, I'm, up, I'm holding my mustache down. You know what I'm saying? Looking. <laughs> real mustachey. I can't participate. Yeah. That fake cake coming up. I can't participate. You got to on the fake cake. Yeah. yeah. I, can't, I can't do it. <laughs> Won't do it. Like a boy. Yeah. Name winning with him. Uh-uh. Won't yeah. win with him. Nah, the weekend was cool, though. I had a good weekend, man. Woo. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, make sure you check out the SoundCloud page and catch up on past episodes of Full Sport Press. All you have to do is search Full Sport Press Podcast mm-hmm. on iTunes. SoundCloud, like we said. Yep. Uh, you can go to the IG page. Most you can definitely. go to the Facebook page. What check else? Out. All the above. And most definitely, you can check us out on YouTube. What up, YouTube? What up, YouTube? YouTube. What it do? Go YouTube. through the archives, check out all the past episodes. Yep. And shout out to the boys over on Deck TV Hip Hop Podcast with Animal Brown and Spike Blue every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central, 8 Eastern. The latest show is up. The Jeezy Meek Mill album review mm-hmm. episode is up. Yeah. Uh, Listen to both albums. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get the big fuss about Jeezy. Yeah, now nah, Jeezy, um, he's still stuck maybe right around. I mean, it's not bad, but... He's still, he's still 2005, 2006. But it's still good music. I mean, it's just... Right. That's what he was supposed to be going yeah, for. Yeah, he was going for. Go yeah. back to the... The thing is with music now, we consume it so fast that it's already out of rotation. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't even know the last time. What came out, what were we talking about, two weeks ago? Game. I haven't listened to that since. Dave East. Dave East, East haven't that. listened to that. Like, yeah. things are consumed and spit out. So, yeah, man, because you don't listen to <laughs> music. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. What's the last album you listened to? Drake. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. You don't listen to music, though, so yeah, I you know, can't blame you. I'm ready, man. Yeah, you're ready. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm one to be jammed. Shout satellite. out. I got satellite in two cities. Oh, shout out. Most definitely. You live in any city. Yeah. Chicago. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's satellite in Shout out to Shout out to Animal Brown. Animal Brown, yeah, you're right here. Yeah, he oh, jumped yeah, in. Yeah, 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 he jumped yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Shout out to him. Come on, right? Hey! Hey! Yeah, he got the V8 hey. hey. on. He might got the big boy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> listen to that Animal Brown. Hey, man. Uh, you make Animal Brown put the boot up. Yeah, you put the boot up. For, you know, hit the gas, man. <laughs> Check out the Ladies Room podcast, man. Rizzo and Anne Marie to find out what the ladies are really talking about in the Ladies Room. The latest show, that time of the month episode is up. 
And you can catch up on past episodes of Follow Ladies Room Podcast on IG and Facebook. Um, also, Fresh with Dummies, me and Animal Brown, the self-help monthly podcast directly related to improving everyday fashion directly for the culture. You can follow the show IG page at Fresh for Dummies to catch our third issue, Fresh Rewind 2001-2016. Um, some Jordans came out this weekend. Okay. Black toe ones. Right, right, um, right. Also, those high top Air Force ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. With yeah, the graphic. With the strap and all like, that. They, I, I passed on those. They look real like, oh, like you're going to go in a mine. Yeah, or, or like, you know. You're going to hike. Yeah, you're going to hike. Yeah, yeah that's not for me. Type. Yeah. Huh? Like construction worker type shit. Yeah, no, that's kind of it. Almost, yeah. Exactly. They got a, they got a, I think that's going to be direct um, competition and trying to compete with the Yeezy boot. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. I don't like um, I don't think I'm gonna get into those. I know I'm not. The black ones are cool. Um, it's too much. But yeah, no, nah, I don't think I can do those. Yeah, it's too for much. Sure. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pass on yeah, those. Yeah, nah, for sure. Now make sure you tweet us with questions during the show at Full Sport Press. But like I said earlier, go to the IG page or the YouTube page, like my man said earlier. YouTube. Or the Facebook page and let us know what you think about the show. Yeah, mm-hmm. In the comments, what you want to tell us, you can talk to us through that. Yep. Um, make sure you rate. Like, give us those thumbs up. Hopefully, subscribe, yeah. subscribe like you oh, said. Nice. But most definitely, don't forget to tell a friend. To tell a friend. To tell a friend. To tell her friend. Tell her friend. <laughs> to tell her friend. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. About four sport friends. It's about the yeah, about the MSB podcast. What? Well, uh, who we got to tell about this? Let's see. Let's see what we time got- it is. Tell, tell, let me see, it's Thanksgiving oh, yeah. time. Yeah, 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 so tell your Thanksgiving friends. Yeah, tell, tell, your, tell your cooks. Tell your group. Man. Tell your cooks. What about, what about the potato salad lady? Like, oh, man, the potato It's the potato <laughs> salad. <laughs> it's my city, man. She on the stump. Oh, yeah. Nah, you know that tough. potato salad, right? Man, nah, it's crazy. You need to get some of that potato salad. Shout out to Mom Deuce. Deuce. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Deuce. Mom man. Deuce potato salad. Fire. 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 Oh, man, I'm going to have to get y'all some. Yeah, man. It's fire. Yeah. Can't wait. Give me some of that. <laughs> it's just fire like I'm that. I'm telling you now, fire. <laughs> now, coming up on the show today, we'll discuss the hottest sports news of the past week, and we'll resume our 2016 NBA Top 7 Series Part 2, where we're featuring the Power Forward. Power Forward, for sure. Before we get in all of that, Weezy, my man, you got a poll question for the people. Yes, sir. Let the people hear poll that. poll question this week is, my NBA, which former NBA All-Star Power Forward has the best, was the best in the prime? Mm. Antoine Walker Celtics. Elton Brand, the Clippers, Sean Kemp, Super Sonics, and Ben Baker with the Bucks. Mm. Mm. That's a mm. tough thing. I think it's easy. You know what it is? Sean Kemp. Yeah. Man, it was crazy. He's a In their prime? Baker. In their prime, Antoine Walker was a dog. He was a dog, but... Sean Kemp ain't getting no bucket by itself. Antoine Walker. Antoine Walker's the only person who's going to get a bucket. Like you throw him the ball, we can't do that though. We always said that about when we talking about the top five centers. If mm-hmm. big draw, we were saying if he didn't have Chris Paul, but he does. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, for so sure. Just go but I'm just saying, hand. yeah, no, nah, but in their prime, so you got to kind of look at it. You say, all right, offensively, Antoine Walker's the best offensively. No, okay. Defensively, I would say maybe, maybe I'm Elton four. Brand. Yeah, maybe Elton Brand. Oh, Elton Brand was a dog too. Yeah, he was. It was just short lived. He was just short lived. But we're talking about in their prime, one game. Out of all of them, they playing one on one, all four of them. Oh, now you see. I'm just saying. One on one is a whole other thing. No, I'm just saying. If they playing one on one, in their foot, in their prime. Well, we talking about in their prime on yeah. the basketball. On the basketball court, five on five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You going with Sean Kemp? Yeah. Give me Antoine Walker, man. I just think Antoine Walker game was a little bit harder Elton to Brand ball. Was nasty too, now. Elton Brand and Brand was filthy. Yeah. 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 I'm, See, the thing is with Elton Brand, he was the best player on his team. I don't think yeah. the other three were ever the best with Ben Baker. Yeah, ben Baker might have been in Milwaukee. He might have been yeah, the best player on his team. Just him. And maybe he played with Sam Cassell, maybe Ray Allen. I think yeah, he played Ray Allen. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, nah, but I'm telling you, Antoine Walker, he, nah, was, he, was, front, good. he was on front of the NBA Live. Yeah, he was, nah, he was, he was a dog. Cyber Twin. Yeah, he was. For sure. For sure. He was yeah. definitely a dog. <laughs> yeah, nah. Ready to start the first half? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. First half is underway. All right. First half, how the sports news of the past week. We'll start with the FSB Fantasy Football 12-man league. Uh, so I'm going to put people on blast. Mm. And they paid. See? <laughs> see, see that? Everybody paid. But. Somebody did. Who FSP's was? own Animal, uh, not Animal Brown, Coach Brown. Mm-hmm. Come on, Coach Brown. 
He, you ain't that busy, man. Oh, no. You ain't that damn busy. No, he didn't. You ain't that damn busy. Come on, Let's man. move on to Twin. House. Come on, Twin. Oh, Come Twin. on, Twin. What are you doing, Come man? Come on, Twin. What are you doing, man? Come on, man. You had him some St. Laurent shoes the other day. Come on, man. You can't pay $22? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Talk Let's to him. move on to the next person. Come on. Come on. Uh, who else didn't pay? Hmm. I think that's it. It might be. It, it might be. Yeah, three nah. Hell no. Lou. Come on, Lou. Lou. Come on, Lou. Come on, Lou. You, you, Come on, Lou. You down there betting on your Cowboys. Y'all right. winning. I know you got it. Come I on, know man. You got it. Come on. Oh, man. oh, it's one more. Last but not least. Oh, it's five. Cal. Ain't, ain't with 12 people in the Come league. Come on, Cal. That's half the league. Come on, Cal. No, it's four people. You it's four. It's four. No. Sean. I mean, not Sean. But Cal. Okay. Lou. Right. Twin. Right. And Coach Brown. thought you named some other four there. Uh-huh. That's okay. it. Who was the first one? Cal. No, who was the first one you said originally? Coach Brown. Okay. Yeah, because he's on, man. Hey, right, come on, man. That's a third. That's still come on, man. Hey, man, pay y'all dues. I'm going to put y'all on blast every week until y'all pay dues. <laughs> pay your dues, man. Now, that was, that's wrong, but hey. Hey, man, <laughs> hey, man if, you, if you go to Vegas and you hey, go man. Vegas, you got to pay up. Yeah. You, know you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Come on, you man. Know, I'm not everybody to pay, man. I'm a close, um, man. Yeah, man. Trifle. Listen, <laughs> um, I play <laughs> Coach Brown. I'm up uh, 30, about 45, so doing pretty good right now. Sounds that way. Yeah, moving on to Sean versus Lou. Um, Sean on the slide. Mm. On the slide. He on the slide. It's be three in a row. It might be. It's two in a row, but sure. I got, no, it's two. I got a W off of him last week. Mm. So, um, But Lou's winning by a solid 60. He got his Bishop Sankey left, so. Whew, boy, should yeah. definitely get his slipper. Yeah, you know, <laughs> so, so yeah. uh, moving on to Squeak. Versus Cal. Cal's up 22, but uh, Squeak got a couple of players left. Mm. And then we moving on to Bird versus Jeff. Jeff is down. Down, Jeff. I tried to cut. I hit up Jeff. I said, mm-hmm. Jeff, listen, I got a trade for you. Your quarterback play is kind of suspect. He didn't want I got it. a quarterback for you. He didn't want Get what he said. It. I'm straight. Man, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Who is this quarterback? Uh, Jeff quarterback is Andrew Luck. I know all about it. Weezy boy. Yeah, you, you want Andrew Luck? No, no, no. I was, I had a quarterback for him. I got Tom Brady and Ben Roethlisberger. So I'm trying to make a little move. You know what you're trying to get for that, though? I need, I, need a, I, need a, I need a number one running back, man. Jeff, he wasn't going to do that. Jeff, he, just, he need to. He wasn't going to um, do that. And Rizzo. Rizzo's up on Reagan by a solid 30. Mm, back Shout on out. top. She back, she back in the back. Hey, like she left and last but not least, um, Animal Brown versus uh, Twin. Animal Brown just... He mailed it in. <laughs> he gave him all. He started out with, I was talking to him earlier today. Mm-hmm. Man, I feel good on the team, killing. But he got some players. We still got Crabtree, still got Christian Michael to play. So. Uh-huh. How much he down? Uh, he's down, let's see, 26, 13, 4, 39. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, so, I mean, he can edit. Then he still got Latavius Murray to play on the other end. So, maybe he might make up for that loss. But uh, next week, you know, we got four down. Mm-hmm. Listen. I hope that number get down to zero so I have to put you on play. <laughs> a lot of people listen to this, man. Hey, you don't want to sound like a cheapskate. Just pay your dues. Just pay your dues. Pay your dues. Yes, sir. Let's move on to college football. Week 10 recap. We'll start with Alabama. Man, um, think, think, about think about that. Think about that. Yeah. Week 10. It just seems like hey, we just said week on. That's moving, man. Shoot, Thanksgiving a couple weeks away. Right? I know. Yeah, That's nah, crazy. for sure. Um, I thought LSU might have won this one, man. And they was, gave it away. And you know why? There's no quarterbacks in the SEC. That's what we're talking about. It. There's not one. It's one quarterback. Chad Sway. It's Chad Kelly, and he will go in the second round. You want to make a bet on that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if second round. Maybe third. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. All the quarterbacks in the, I mean, Pac-12. In the, in the ACC. Don't, don't forget the ACC. I know three in the Pac-12 is going to go maybe – I know three. Round. I know three. First round? That's not first true. Three round. That's not true. Oh, not this three, year. He said first three rounds. Not this year. They can't. Only, I'm telling you, it's Trebinsky, it's Deshaun Watson, Brad Kaya. Those boys. Them, 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 not, not first round. First, first three, three rounds. Round. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's going to be your first three round quarterback since you get Chad Kelly, and then you got Deshaun Kaiser if he comes out. Them, them five quarterbacks, we. Davis Webb can go. He's not on the list, fam. Davis Webb can go. This year? Yeah, absolutely. What you what, what you say? Whatever you want to bet. I, mean, I, I, I bet he go not. before third round. Whatever you want to bet. That's a bet. Well, you call He's not gonna come out. He's a senior. He's a senior. Oh, that's even worse. He's not even on the list, bro. Yeah, he is. Oh, 
I will look at it after this. Yeah, for sure. Um, but that's the reason. Like, listen, Jalen Hurts, good player. He's not a good quarterback. Though. Ethel, whatever the name of the quarterback is, at LSU, trash quarterback. They was talking about putting what you call Harris back in. <laughs> <laughs> they need to. Well, that quarterback, that was like, you know, that was, a, that was a big light last night for him. Yeah, no, it's a lot of light. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He just that ain't was, good. Yeah, no, nah, he's just not a good quarterback. Yeah, Alabama. I don't know, yeah. I don't know why they're going to put quarterback in this This is Saban's best defense. I'm not even playing. Nah, it's not better than 08 I'm defense. I'm telling you, man. Who this ain't best defense. Who's going to Oh, no, Lord, Lord. Did you see what fantasy do to you? Chad Kelly tore his ACL, man. Damn. Yep. <laughs> they might open it up for some, they open it up for another quarterback. That's too slow. Yeah, for the season. He, he did that yesterday? They played better than this week. Man. Jeez. I was going to see that. I ain't I going might, to see that. I might man. stand a chance, man. Because they ain't going to be able to score. I need two more wins. To get bowled out. Who I got left? Ole Miss. Oh, man. UT. UT, Missouri. You see what the hell I got. That's a great guy. Who on Louisville? It hurt my feelings. I swear. That's, that's, that's your boy. Yeah. Um, How did he do it? Yesterday? Yep. He left in the third quarter. Mm, mm, mm. Um, Louisville. Lamar Jackson. Nah, man. I don't see that. Jeez. Lamar Jackson. Yeah, it's over with. That's over with. And, and, they, yeah. I mean, and they, they going to be in the college football playoffs, too. No way. Wow. No way. Wow. Wow. Who? Over who? Clemson going to lose. To who? Hey, who they got left? South Carolina. South Carolina. Maybe yeah. Boston. No, I mean, yeah, they might be the hell out of Boston College. I don't, I don't even care. Yeah, I got Boston College this week, man. Yeah, we're going to beat them. Though. And he did that. Listen, man. Lamar Jackson did that against Boston College. Great defense every year. Kill seven touchdowns, man. It's crazy. I can tell you exactly what they got left. Hold on. Yeah. They're moving on to Navy. Uh, they pulled out a 28 27 win against uh, Notre Dame. Why is Brian Kelly out of the chopping block? And he is, that's, that was my next question. Dude. They got one hard game left. Who was that? Against Wake Forest. Yeah. They still got, it's Pittsburgh, Wake Forest, then South Carolina. Nah, they don't. Yeah, they don't. Oh, Pittsburgh might get them. No. Nah. Dude, Notre Dame is 3 and 6. It's going to be interesting to see if the athletic director still is keeping that same talk. And he said that he'll be the coach to lead them out the tunnel next year. But that was like two weeks ago. Man. Where they lost the But from her. Dude, that, that's crazy to me. It's like the first time. They got to win out. That, they got to win out just to get, get, to, get, get bowl out. The bowl out when they got Notre Dame. They got me named Army, Virginia Tech, and U- USC. USC. They can't beat USC. They might, they USC rolled. And then they even have to win their damn bowl game. That's true, Lord. I quit that. And they, if they get bad ball games, if they won't go. Yeah. I, I, I've yeah. seen them. Yeah. yeah, they'll turn it down. Yeah, they won't it's go. like the, the Meineke Bowl or yeah. the yeah. GoDaddy like Bowl. Yeah, they yeah. Go yeah. Down. yeah. Um, and wait. Man, listen. First time that that ball is eligible since 2011. Man. Like three games. Who? Wait, wait for Six and three. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's the hardest game Clemson got left. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's move on to the losers. Texas A&M. Mm-hmm. And they yeah. put them in front of Washington. They were the number 14, See. which in a that didn't matter, right? It we knew that the first week of the college football playoff rankings, it doesn't matter. I think but, they did it on purpose. Yeah. To just get the to, buzz, to get people talking. Yeah, right. But they're pretenders. For sure. Mississippi State? Come on, man. Come on, man. They ain't pretending no more. Yeah, nah. They are who we thought. And about. they always melt down. Every they just yeah. waited a little late. They, yeah, no, it's like the last five games. Yeah, well, 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 yeah no, nah, I told you. Yeah. Three left, so. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. And moving on to Baylor. Speaking of pretenders. Mm. They started out 6-0. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. They dropped two in a row? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They dropped the mm-hmm. Texas last week. TCU. Mm-hmm. Killed them. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Poor finish for Baylor, man. They said they was wearing their black jerseys in support of uh, Art Browse, who got fired at the beginning of the year. Is this Carl we'll catching up, up with them now? For, that black, for the black jersey? No, no, not the black jersey. Just all the stuff that's going on Baylor. No, I wouldn't necessarily say that. It's, it's hurting them clearly. I think it's... They already fired the coach. That was yeah, that, that was it. And yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's why they where they are now. Mm-hmm. Speaking of where they at now, Michigan State. Slide. Dude. They were Slide. in the tournament. They, dude, they almost made the, what? The they, football yeah, football. that was a national semifinal game. Yeah. Come on, man. They Two and seven. They got no quarterback. They got six games in a row. They ain't got no All the conference. They got a really good winner there, too. They yeah. No they ain't got no quarterback. I ain't never seen a foul like that. They get you out of there quick. But, uh, and last but not least, Florida lost thirty one to ten at Arkansas. <laughs> we still control the SEC East. Kind of let you know how bad the SEC East is right now. Um, we got South Carolina. We got a lot of injuries. So if y'all lose one more game. Kentucky's gonna win. 
Uh, no, nah. UT. Yeah, UT won. will be in the championship. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we gotta we gotta win out. We control home this. We yeah. gotta win out in the conference. That's crazy. We gotta be there to shoot. That's what it is. With we super injured with no quarterback. Come on, man. And Kentucky, they had a chance. They was yeah. Was. yeah they, it's got to be so, the fourth quarter. Do you still think the SEC is the best conference? Um, from top to bottom. Because y'all top teams. Not I, this they year. They ain't holding it down like We just ain't got quarterbacks in the SEC. I think, um. So I don't play. Who, it, might, it, it, might the, it might be the Big Ten. Though. Yeah, I think it might be the Big Ten. You got Michigan, Ohio yeah. State, Wisconsin. I mean, Michigan State. You got Ohio State, Michigan, yeah. Wisconsin. Yeah. Um, somebody else is here. Nebraska, Nebraska, Ohio State, yeah. Northwestern ain't that good. So if Ohio State Iowa. if Ohio State beats Michigan, Michigan, they right. put Michigan out. I know. I don't think so. They yeah. might be the conference to get two teams. Now. Yeah, they might. If that if that happens and they but they, they both went out. Yeah. I could see them putting Washington because number one is Clemson, I, I Alabama, Clemson. Nah, they ain't nah. They can't, they can't do it. If they can't if because Washington Alabama is out. Yeah. They can't do it. They can't do it. Yeah. I don't know. They might. They nah. Might be jumping people like they that. They not gonna man. do that. They still saying now that Washington might not might not make it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so oh, they'll make it this week. I don't know. And they'll be out the following week because USC gonna be. Ain't no way. USC not gonna beat them. Not. USC gonna beat them Saturday. You wanna bet that? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, you you want some of that camera man? Not for real, man. You need to stop betting, man. What I owe? Meals. I owe me. We'll talk about it. You want you, you, you want to talk about that? Because I just put a whole yeah, list of and these people in my phone. You think I won't put you on play? I'm sure you will. Oh, okay. We'll talk about it off of that. We ain't got to. I ain't gonna do them like that. I will. <laughs> Let's move on to college football players of the week, man. Who y'all got? I, I, I didn't want to go Lamar Jackson, yeah. but I'm tired of going with him. But how can you argue seven touchdowns, 185 yards rushing, yeah. 231 passing? You can't. Now, I mean, yeah, you can. It's, 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 it's the boy it's from, my, from, my, from my boy from the Louisiana Tech. He killed. Yeah. Eight catches, 133 yards. A rushing touchdown, four touchdowns, one rush, five total. Come on, man. That's the second time doing it all year. You work. And, and listen, man. Do you think Lamar Jackson is going to beat the uh, FBS record for 63 touchdowns? Yeah, what is he at right now? 45. Well, he three games. Four, nah. Get 18 more. Nah, they got three games left. So if he get four, that's 12. Well, and he, got a, he, got a, he only got a bowl game after that. So he had to go six. Yeah. Six average about six. I don't think so. Cause he gonna get it. He gonna get a good bowl game. Yeah, I think he's gonna do it. He about so we about he got to go six from here on out. I think he's gonna get six for the next you know two how, weeks. You know how exciting it'd be to get him in the playoffs. Yeah, now they gotta find a way. They, but they, they, they can't. Yeah. Well, what if USC beats Washington? Now, Carlos Henderson. Yeah, then, that, then that's when for sure, if Ohio State beats Michigan, it'll be both of them will still get in. You know, you're not hearing me. Carlos Henderson got 15 touchdowns. She a wide receiver. That's insane. 60 catches. 1,100 receiving yards. It's also a uh, wide receiver from West Michigan that's a killer. Yeah, he, he killed every year. Then the, uh, the boy from Texas had 300 and oh, yeah. 31 rushing yards. And, and then yeah. the Ross dude from Washington is called he's too. A beast. Yeah, he's he's a beast. He's on the 029. 029 no. speed. For sure. The dog. Yeah, man. Yeah. That was a college football yeah. recap right there. He got, he got to play against my boy Saturday. So? He going to cook him. He ain't going to cook the boy Jackson. No, no. But, man, it's going to be tough on him. Cause see the thing is, who are they gonna put a Dory Jackson? Are they gonna put him on Pettis? Are they gonna put? Nah, they gonna, they gonna put him on. Yeah. He might be in trouble. <laughs> I'm talking about you. I'm talking about Dory Jackson. Dory Jackson, nice. The thing is with college football, man, you have to let your damn defense rest. I mean, that's yeah. for anything in football. Yeah. And if you're quarter, that's why it's bad watching SEC football right now because the, our offenses no, are abysmal. We have no, no offense. It's no. all defense. That's it. That's it's it. all deep. Like, watch, dude. watch an SEC football game. It could be boring. Dude, nah, I'm dead serious, dude. Because hey, there's no, unless, I mean, if you're a defensive fan, then you have having a ball. Dude. If you want to see some action, some scoring. There's no scoring. No, you got to go to the Pac-12 for that. Mm-hmm. Pac-12 and ACC. Big 10. Big 10, y'all. Big 10 is score way more. Yeah. They, they don't play nobody. They don't, yeah, they be playing. Yeah. They don't play nobody. Pac-12 knows what the score is. Pac-12, yeah. and they, they can score. Yeah. Now, we're going to give a little baseball love, you know. Shout out to the Cubs fans. Cubby. The World Series ended this past week with the Chicago Cubs winning it after 108 years. Mm. Beating the Cleveland Indians 8-7 in a 10-inning 
game. Right. And they became the first team to come back from a 3-1 deficit and win game six and seven on the road since the 1979 Pittsburgh Pirates. Cool. Now, outfielder Ben Zobis won MVP after knocking in the one run to break the tie in the top of the 10th. Mm-hmm. And they survived the his comeback in game seven. Rajai Davis hit an eighth inning home run to tie the game up. And it was some other things they went through. It was a 17-minute yeah. rain delay. That saved the game. It did. It gave him rest. No, that saved the game. And then they said that uh, that might have been Jason a Hayward. Now, that might have been for real. I mean, the rain can't was fix, the you fix. can't fix the rain. You can't fix the rain. That's, this is the thing. Joe Madden really almost, he, he almost pissed it down his leg. He, he, tried to do too much. he almost did he it. Out coach, he outmanaged himself. And it started in game six. Yeah, man. He entrusted his, bill, his bullpen. Though. You did not have to put in. Chapman. You didn't have to put him in. Because the, the, the pitcher, it was like a six inning. Yeah, he'd only thrown 60 pitches. Yo. That's 10 pitches an inning. Man. And he was rolling. I'm telling you. He he questionable moves yes. those last three games. Yes. It don't matter now, though. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. yeah. They but they remember that. Yeah, they say. Theo Epstein is the beast. He yeah. broke two curses. Yeah. He broke Boston. Mm-hmm. And he goes to the Cubs. Same I think the, it was like 87 years for the, for the Red Sox. Yeah, that's crazy. Some crazy. He lives here. Theo Epstein does? Really? Hmm. That's right. He lives in Nashville. You know, we, everybody that listen to us is from Nashville. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, Nashville. Um, they, they, go ahead. They were favorites from the beginning, though. But, I mean, yeah, they, 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 they did. They had a Yankees kind of season. Yeah. They paid. All the players yeah. got a whole bunch of people pitching, yeah. closers. Yeah. I mean, they, they were loaded. So yeah. Chapman is a free agent. Yeah. yeah. Can back. they repeat? I think they can. They're they super young. Players. They got Chris Bryant. They got uh, uh, Addison Russell, man. Who cool. are cool. the shortstop? Baby. Rizzo. Russell. He called. Yeah. 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 It's a bunch of dudes. I tell you, they have a really good team. He hit a grand slam. Yeah. Now, it, this is the most watched game, what, 40 years? It's because it was the Cubs. It was a, but it was a really good game. It was, That's the only World Series I watched. Man, dude, I'm telling you, it was a really, really, sure. really good game. Will yeah. it bring it back to the forefront? Like you know, because football was in America's pastime yeah. here within the last fifteen years. It was the Cubs and everybody. Yeah, it, was, it just yeah. depends on who's in the, the World Series. They want to see win, and everybody yeah. felt like they had a legit chance. Yeah. Now, what's a crazy story is it was an 85 year old Cubs fan I heard about that, that passed away three hours after the game. He saw it though. He did see it. He was in the hospice, but they, they don't. They, you know, he, it was real bad, and mm-hmm. they told him it was like the last thing to go was his hearing, so he really couldn't see too much of it that much. Yeah, he saw it. But his family was there. Yeah. But they had to watch the game in another room, and his TV was a little behind. Mm-hmm. So they said that every time the Cubs would score, they had to be quiet so he wouldn't hear it. He mm-hmm. could see it, and then they would come in and kind of whisper the yeah, score in his ears to hear what's going on. But uh, he passed three hours after the game decided he'd right. be buried Monday and a Cubs championship t shirt to be in his back. That's cold, man. That's crazy. That's all right, man. Shout That's out to that guy. Uh, are they still kicking right now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. now that's going to be the last for another seven yeah. or ten days. They shut down the school and everything. Thank you, better. They, they, they 108 years? They, they, think about it. They shut down school and the Titans made it to the Super Bowl. Yeah, for sure. They ain't even winning. They ain't winning. Yeah, yeah. No, they uh, shut yeah, it down. Did yeah. y'all see the crazy fans with the trust lane? They just fucked. Crawl up on them yeah, tall things mm-hmm. and they just fall in the back and let the fans catch I did see the um, Wrigleyville they showed when they got the last out. Yeah. Said chill to my body. It's yeah. cool to see. For sure. Got knocked out. Y'all yeah, see that? Yeah. You got to get knocked out. Yeah, fan knocked out the Cubs. Yeah, you got to yeah. do that. You got to. Yeah. He told him to hit me. You reach your teeth. Yeah, he told yeah, him. You reach. It was, it was, it was already back and forth. He told him hit me. Yeah. Hit me. Bop, one hit. You reach. I'm going to teach. I'm going to teach you. I seen the Oakland Raiders fan get knocked out. Y'all seen that one? No. No. This past weekend? Yeah, last weekend. Yeah. Night, night. Night, night. <laughs> yeah, go sleep. Quit playing these people. Yeah. Let's move on to Jalen Hurd, man. Junior running back Jalen Hurd has left the UT football team and has already received his release. Hurd ran for 1,200 yards and 12 touchdowns last season, averaging 4.6 per carry, and he had 451 yards and three touchdowns, averaging 3.7 yards per carry through seven games in 2016 and is no longer on the team, but is still enrolled at the school. Good move or bad move for Jalen Hurd? Great move. Great move. Great move. For bad his, timing. For Good move. Yeah. Bad timing. There you go. Yeah. Finish he the year. He should have left last year. He wanted to leave last year. Fin- but you stayed, finished the year. Like yeah. you said, he had 1,200 yards last year. I don't, and then they were in the same offense. Why would, I don't understand why he left. Because they had a, a Kamar. Yeah. Well, they and Kamar last year. Well, speed, well they run a spread so. option, which in turn fits Kamar better right. than he does. He wants to run out of the iPhone. Yeah. Butch said, hey, I'm going to get you to run out of the iPhone. Scrapped it week one. And Jalen Hurd had been. Pretty much, I've uh, about, about it ever since. 
Now, as a junior, you have to sit out a year, of course, due to the NCAA transfer rules, unless he graduates from Tennessee before next season, which he did enroll early in, took summer classes. So that's something that could happen. But he will not be allowed to transfer to any SEC program uh, or other future opponents, which could be Georgia Tech, West Virginia, among others. See, that's two things. So two things. He, got a, he got a list where he can only go to. I mean, you just can't go, yeah, you just can't go to any SEC school or people that they're playing. Mm-hmm. He can go anywhere, really. Other than Georgia Tech and West Virginia. We don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Yeah. You know, his mom we, got we arrested. His mom got into a fight with a, a friend. That's what I mean. So, we don't, you know, it could be a lot. So, it's easy to sit and say you should have waited. We don't right. know what's going on. Yeah. Other thing, I don't like that they can put restrictions on what a boy's transfer to. Because if Butch Jones got offered the job at, say, Florida, and he wanted that job, mm-hmm. he could go take it. Yeah. But if I'm a player, because I'm... I'm here. I can't transfer to a school in the conference. Yeah, I don't like that. They need to change. And that's one of those things where that's where the, the athletic program or the coach can do that as yeah, it may. You, you know, say you know, that. yeah. And I don't like that. They need to take that yeah, away. That's that's cool. not, that's most not cool. coaches don't do that. Some coaches they say, say I want you. Good. Yeah, I, but some coaches, I've seen some coaches say, I want to play y'all next year mm-hmm. so you can see us and we'll whoop y'all ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it just really depends. Unless you know how good of a player he was. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about a little bit more ahead of time because that's what Coach Brown was talking about mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. For sure. Now, uh, this year seemed to be the year of retirement for veterans in sports. Yep. Your boy Kobe Bean retired last year. Most of Tim Duncan retired last year. Mm-hmm. Well, not last year, but the end of the year, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. And now we have a couple more veterans retiring. First, NBA shooting guard Ray Allen decided to call it quits. Yep. Now, he last played in 2013-2014 season, but didn't retire. You know, everybody thought he might come back and go to uh, Cleveland. He might yeah. go to Golden State. You know what he uh, did? Spurs. Go to Spurs. Yeah. He hurt his chances when he is eligible in five years, though. You know that, right? He hurt, I, I think he hurt his chances of getting being a first ballot oh, Hall yeah. of Fame because in the 2012 class, Man. it would be as hard to get in as mm-hmm. the because this class is going to be KG, Kobe, mm-hmm. uh, Tim, Tim Duncan, Duncan. You know, and then you oh, got to think about yeah. people. Yeah, oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. Then you got to think about people that didn't get in the years right. prior. So yeah. um, I don't think he's a first ballot Hall of Fame. He might get it because they like him. It's on the stream. Yeah. Yeah, baby. He's a good guy. They Dude, might. one All-NBA second team. Never was first team. No. Never. He was third team once. Once, yeah. Come he's on, NBA man. all-time three-point leader. That, is that's it, his is it, is it all stat? Or it, no. And winning, too, right? Winning. But he never won by himself. But they, they ain't going to say that. They say he, he, he won. never won by he himself. A lot of big oh, shots. You, say what's did. your definition of a first battle of Hall of Fame? Like stat wise, just period. Just period. Yeah, what no, yeah, right. Okay, yeah. that's that's your example. What's your example, Kobe? Everything you've done, right? Your accolades, right? Um, what else? How you were how you were as a player, mm-hmm. like off the field, all that. Right, play is gonna play into that. Um, so the whole play by itself, I don't I don't take a lot into that because right. nobody did it by itself. I'm just thinking of a first ballot Hall of Fame. That's I mean because when you're first ballot. Mm-hmm. In my eyes, I think it's somebody that's reserved for a player that was dominant like, and not, or the not, best player. To me, the stats, MVP, the MVP, 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 MVP yeah. um, dominant, right. best player in his position or his or her position, excuse me, at one time. He, Ray he, Allen was he, never there. But you also got to think. No, never. No, right. You also got to think. Kobe Bryant. He was never there. Special there. player. First ballot. Those are first ballot. Yeah, yeah. KG. First ballot. First ballot. Yeah. Yes. you all got to say? Allen Iverson. First ballot. First ballot. I mean, yeah. Shaq Hall of Fame. You can't, Come on, you man. You can't argue that. You can't argue Ray that. Allen is but not Ray a Allen, first ballot. No. He's not a first ballot, but the Heat, the heat don't win the first championship without him. And, and I get that. But that means at that time he was a role player. You know yeah. that, right? Yeah, yeah, but they don't win without him. And, but you're Boston a role don't win without him. Th- th- this is what I'm trying to tell you. If a first ballot Hall of Fame is a role player, it's not false. First ballot. Yeah. Fame, that's it, what he's saying. That's it. And he was a glorified role player on a lot of those teams. He was never even number two. Number two, two ball in the in the in the world, like time. never, never. You gotta think what about it. VC. No, nah, I'm saying like in the league, right? You doing if we do oh, a top no, five, no, 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 no. never. Not. So how can you be a first ballot Hall of Fame? What it had to be around oh five? Think about it. it. All NBA second team. No, think about it though. What are two guards? Two thousand five. In two thousand five, you got T Mac, you got VC. Um, who else was the two guard? Kobe then. Kobe, of course. Yeah. yeah. Ray Allen was second or third all the time, maybe second. That's what I'm saying. What a minute he probably was. But That's what I'm trying to tell you. Ray it, Allen. It's it, like you say, he's like, not going to get it because it's the year. He shouldn't. And I remember, I don't mean to keep going and talking about this, we're talking about other stuff, but you look at a person, and I remember they asked Kobe Brown one time, it's like, man, um, 
who, you know, who's, you know, Ray Allen, man, he's, he's really close up there. He's like, what? Man, Ray Allen? No, no. You can't even mention his my, his name and my name in the same. You can't. Now, that's you can't do. You cannot. You can't do that. You cannot. That's, uh, it's very similar. Um, he came, like, Clyde Drex and Michael Jordan. I think it's, but Clyde Drex is a way better player than Ray Allen. See what I'm saying? So, it's just like, man, it's not even close. Mm-hmm. My bad. I got a little long-winded about Ray Allen. Now, other players, NFL players, mm-hmm. Andre Johnson, and he decided to give it up. Uh, after 14 seasons, 12 with the Houston Texans, one yep. the Indianapolis Colts, and half a season with the Tennessee Titans. And he's the number three pick in the 2003 draft. Mm-hmm. Finished his career with 1,000 plus regular season catches for 14,000 plus yards and 70 touchdowns. Right. Had seven 1,000 yard seasons. Yep. Now, is he a first ballot Hall of Fame? Um, I, man, he's going to be on the fence, right? Because if you look at it, um, super underrated, top 10, what, receptions and receiving yards? Yeah, um, yeah. but you think about it though. This year. It ain't even about that in 2021. You gotta think about what All he never is not having done yeah. yet. Dude, it's different like football. Chris Carter didn't make it. Chris Carter numbers. If you put his numbers, Chris Carter, he, 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 he didn't win the first battle. That's what yeah. I'm saying. So if you put his numbers to people that like people that didn't even make it, they don't even they pales into comparison, and they didn't win games. Right. And the main that's thing perfect. is. He didn't never have he never his best quarterback was Matt Shaw. Yeah, and he did all that. Never had a quarterback. Two time first team All Pro. I mean, so if you look at it, he had the league receiving yards twice. But he dude like he was a beast, but he was like one of those prototypical wide receivers, mm-hmm. right? But he didn't have a lot of touchdowns. That's mainly because of the quarterback. Right. He was throwing to his, I mean, he was throwing to him. I just don't think he's first ballot, man. But at the same time, you guys also got to look at it and say. His his teammates slowed him down. Yeah, oh, that's right. oh, oh my god, he had him. But he's a beast though. Andre yeah, Johnson was a beast for yeah. sure. Yeah. You wanna talk about one move P? Your man Percy Hall. Yeah. That's it. Go ahead. Yeah, my, my dog one move P. Hey, hey, listen, man. He back. He he played tomorrow. I'm guaranteeing he's a touchdown tomorrow. if I catch it. He's playing tomorrow. Yeah. Came out of retirement, signed a one million dollar uh deal for the for eight games. Oh. The Bills. Bills. Sammy Watkins out, Greg Salas is out, Marquise Goodwin, Brandon Tate out. This, he's going to have that, five catches in the touchdown. Is that why he came out of retirement because all the boys hurt? Yeah. Oh, God, he, need, he, he needed a little time to kind of chill. He, he said out for a year and a half. He's fresh. He done played all that shit, right? No, nah, he played all that shit. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like he came five catches in the I'm mean, guaranteeing. They, they said he lined him up against Darby. You think he'll be a fan of No, but I'm thinking about it. For <laughs> one game. Thinking for two games. Because the next game, he's going to kill next game. Who they playing them all? They play, the Bills play, crap, Seahawks? Yeah, the Seahawks. And going against his old team? Is Sherman going to lock him up? Yeah, no, nah, he's in the slot, so it's going to oh, be yeah. probably Earl oh, Thomas yeah. or somebody checking. Listen, so I'm, guarant- I'm, I'm guaranteeing a touchdown and five catches. Mm, mm, mm. Five catches in a touchdown. Five catches in a touchdown. I mean, my fresh. dog won't move. He fresh. Look, he want to bet. Let's move on to Glover Queen, man. Glover Queen was drafted by the Houston Texans in 2009. Now in place with the Detroit Lions. And he started investing early. For the first three years of his career, he invested 70% of his take-home pay in well-known publicly traded companies. Him and his family lived out $6,000 a month, which is a lot of money mm-hmm. for regular people that's right. walking around. Now, after signing a five-year, $23.5 million contract with the Lions, in 2013, Quinn adopted an investment strategy that was rather risky. He puts 10 to 20% of his wealth towards funding startups. Now, he said after the next five years, he could bring in close to $21 million after that contract expired. Mm. What do you guys think about that? Somebody teaching him well. He can eat a lot, right? Yeah, but the thing is, at the same time, we're going to give a horror story on the next yeah. person about doing the exact same thing, which right. is Patrick Willis. But right. Um, his is a little different though because yeah. he, he did it the right way. Yeah, he lived like he was a regular human exactly. being. Yeah, because I mean, six thousand a month. For yeah, normal people. Yeah, that's solid. Seven two thousand dollars a year. Yeah, that's, that's solid. You know. Yeah, you can. Yeah, no. You for might sure. not be able to live a lavish life that your teammates yeah. are living, but at the end of the day, now look at it. Yeah, but and you look at it when before when it expires in two thousand seventeen, you burn. should make about twenty one million dollars. Mm-hmm. That's like doubling your NFL career. Right. So I mean, he did, he did it the right way. He did it the right way. If you look at it, and I think he did it early in the game right. compared to, you know, something that, you know, you could do kind of late, kind of kind of similar to what you're going to talk about right. next. And I, and I think the difference between the two, which I talk about, is yeah. that he probably had some people t- 
talking to him, mm-hmm. helping him with that. Yeah. So now we're going to give the negative side of the sure. business. Patrick Willis, who's a retired NFL player, began working at the Silicon Valley startup called Open Source Storage with his partner Aaron Nazi, mm-hmm. where they became board members and vice president. Now, Willis claims that his business partner, founder of the Open Source Storage in Campbell, California, committed fraud so he could enrich himself at Willis's expense. Now, Willis is now seeking full ownership of at least $2 million of disputed real estate, mm-hmm. as well as unspecified monetary damages from Nazi. Now, as a proximate result of the fraud, Willis lost substantial sums to unsuitable and imprudent investments. Mm-hmm. Now, he basically told Willis when they were doing this right. that they were going to be equal partners, but only Willis was contributing to the investment. Now, the two of them opened a joint account and allegedly kept Willis's he kept Willis in the dark about things that were happening and the investments. And right. then at the end of the day, it all didn't pan out. So, so basically, this is a person. This is one of the reasons that Patrick Willis retired. He mm-hmm. said to myself, he said, man, you know what? My foot hurt. I can't plant my damn big toe. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to retire. And, you know, he wore a suit every day. Right. He was invested into this startup company. And it was one of those things. He jumped head first into something he knew nothing no, about. Nothing. And that's where he, that was his mistake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He made $43 million playing football, so he'll be okay financially. But in turn, man, investing into startups, you know, you look at yeah. Uber, yeah. you look at WhatsApp, and you say, man, that's something I should invest mm-hmm. in. But you have to invest day one, not day 71. Right. Or 721, yeah. you got to start early. And that's what you do with startups. You, you know, you hit or miss. Yeah, but in turn, you can't. Go full steam in. I think football players do stuff like they, train, like how they, you know, train for football, and it's it's a different game. That's crazy. Yeah, so it was kind of a, a horror story mm-hmm. and a, kind of a good way to kind right. of look into it. Um, let's move on to Weezy's favorite situation: sex tapes. <laughs> uh, Mira Khan has yeah. been the subject of a ridiculously <laughs> in-depth extortion plot over a sex tape that never existed. Twenty-seven-year-old Hamza Din admits that he attempted to blackmail Khan by um, threatening to release footage of Khan having sex with a woman in a hotel room in Newcastle. Now, then sent an email to Khan's management stating that he would um, basically put up uh, compromising footage of Khan if they didn't pay him close to $5 million. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately for Dan, he was pretty terrible at covering up his tracks and sent it under a fake email, which made his house be raided, seized his computer, and the alleged mm-hmm. sex tape was nowhere to be found. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, Dean's going to plead guilty to a single black male charge, and the judge could suspend uh, his sentence after he does a psychiatric evaluation. So that's the thing. People try to go out and do stuff, and, and I know that you, know, you say to yourself, I can find a way to get some money quick. Mm-hmm. So send somebody to go do something and say, hey, man, you know, we could probably get some money out of this. In turn, you can't do people like that, man. Okay. Come to your house, and now you, you might go to jail for, or not, for nothing. Go to you're going to go to jail. For nothing. So this is the thing, and, this is, and also, you know, guys have sex tapes of their significant other, mm-hmm. and it might be a situation after the fact that y'all are not out. cool like that, and she mm-hmm. might get on a reality TV Dang. show and, and become famous, and then you say to yourself, hmm, get some money. they going to lock your ass up. Quick. Don't do that. That's corny. It's, you keep it's that lame. for yourself. That's lame. It's lame. Yeah, it's corny, man. It's lame. Keep man. it for it's yourself, lame, man. Dude, man. Yeah, man. If, 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 if she gave you that, yeah. you, you, you know, wish or whatever you wanted, you know what I'm saying? saying? She did it for you. Yeah. Just keep it for yourself. Go back and watch it. Yeah, just go back and watch it and say, you know what? It was for me. Yeah. This is something I did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just, just enjoy it, yourself. It, enjoy by the clowns, man. A lot of these dudes clowns. Without the suit. Oh, man, now they wear the suit and everything. <laughs> Nose disguise. Clowns. I say somebody clown every week. Every week. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> every week. <laughs> now, Kevin Garnett. Speaking of, who right. be a first ballot Hall of Famer for sure. First ballot. We'll see. He's joined the T. Ten- huh, what? I know it. Come on. He's joined the TNT inside the NBA. Right. Now everybody knows inside the NBA with Kenny Smith, Charles Barkley, Shaq, Shaq right. and my man Ernie Johnson. Right. Well, they gave KG a little segment called Area Twenty One. Mm-hmm. Now what it is is KG is in a setting that looks like a man cave for a basketball fanatic. Mm-hmm. Right. There's four TVs in there. It's Couches, little seats he's sitting in, and he had a special guest, and they kind of just sit down and critique games of the day. Right. The special guest more. was Rasheed Wallace. Right. He said he wanted to bring somebody in that's real for the first guest. Right. And who other than Rasheed Wallace to keep it real? I mean, the one thing they do, uh, like I said, they critique games and everything, and they talk. But one thing they have, the number one rule of Air Twenty One is to keep it real. Got to. That's what they say. You better keep it real, Air Twenty One. 
So what they do is they doing some cussing in Area 21. Yeah, they better. But what they have is a box in between the two seats. Mm-hmm. They just sitting there, whoever's just going to be the guest sitting on the other side, it's a box. So whenever they want to talk and get cussing, they just press the button down yeah. and they just cussing rapidly. For sure. And you just can't rant. see, you see you the mouth move. And sit, yeah. you can't hear nothing. Right. But like Kenny Smith said, I can read lips. Right. So you can see what they saying. Right. For sure. But I, I think it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I think you got into that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, it'll be a good, you know, good, you know, good little segment for the show. Mm-hmm. Kind of brings in a different... Cause I'm tired of Charles Barkley. Uh, me and Adam Brown was talking about this. Yeah. They sat down with Jim Brown mm-hmm. and uh, Shaq, and it was a whole bunch of just weirdo stuff with people. <laughs> they were saying, Ass kissing. Yeah, it was just one of those things. And I know you got corporate sponsors behind you, mm-hmm. so you can't really speak on how you feel. Right. And it's kind of similar with Lil Wayne, um, the lack of 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 no, it, that too, but <laughs> it's a lack of awareness. Okay. Like Charles Barkley has been rich for so long, he, he forgets. Know. And doesn't realize that he was still living in Leeds, Alabama. He was working at a regular nine to five. Job, like he would, he get the yeah, same. Yeah, he would stuff. get the same, and he, he doesn't realize. And yeah. Jim Brown's been rich for a long time too. So mm-hmm. in turn, he's you know, out of he doesn't understand how it is to be a black man anymore because it, you know they don't do the same problems. Yeah, right. yeah so and some um, of, and some rich people do. Some rich people. Yeah, some people because you know what they do, they sit and think, all right. So I got, they probably got some friends that still live mm-hmm. in Leeds, Alabama, mm-hmm. wherever they're from. And they're like, man, this is going to affect him. Not me, mm-hmm. but I know it will affect my friends. It's from my neighborhood that I grew up on. You get And that's, that's basically right. what it is. And I think Charles Barkley this has definitely guy. done that. And Shaq, Shaq not necessarily hasn't done that, but I think he was so, um, he has so many corporate sponsors that he can't really speak. Right. But Kenny Smith is on there keeping it he, super but, real. But you don't see Kenny Smith no else really right. outside yeah. of So it's no risk, saying, no yeah, risk. Yeah. Only thing he has is TNT. I'm sure he has a fit. Yeah, he has a Yeah, major. Nothing like that. When he says something, they yeah. can be like, I'm going to take it. He yeah. don't care. For sure. So, I mean, I'm pretty much tired of Charles Barkley. Yeah, More I'm done with Charles Barkley. I'm tired of Lil Wayne. Oh, I just God. want them to all to go to the same island. Uh, they can on, take OJ Simpson with them. I'm done with Lil Wayne. Nah, Lil Wayne. He, man. Come on. Ah, it hurt me. It hurt me. It hurt everybody. We all grew up on Wayne. Yeah, come on, man. man. Like, that was crazy. Cocaine, drugs, no, man. No, he, he was super high. But you pull out a, a rag and you say, this is what I, 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 with the battle, this, is what, this I, is what I represent. Man, this is what this is. That's what you're saying? This, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm a game banger. Oh, you ain't, you ain't on, have a game banger. Anyway. See what I'm saying? You ready to start with that? time? Too. Right. Yeah, yeah for sure. Most dead on man. We're at the midway point. Enjoy all of the halftime festivities. Halftime is sponsored by Fadeaway Sports Barbershop. Fadeaway Sports Barbershop is located at 210 Thompson Lane in Nashville, Tennessee. If you want that Duke started by, they got you. If you want that rich homie Quan, they got you. If it's time to come home and join the Ball Brotherhood, Fadeaway Sports Barbershop is a place to go. The shop is open seven days a week. Make sure you contact Keith Junkies on IG or Facebook. The shop number is 615-678-8161. Once again, 615-678-8161. So make sure you go by Fadeaway Sports Barbershop. Yes, sir. Shout out to Fadeaway Sports Barbershop for sponsoring halftime. We have another installment of Coach Brown's two-minute drip. Coach Brown is a former TSU tight end and the current defensive coordinator for Maplewood High School in Nashville, Tennessee. Coach Brown will give an insight on hot topics from a former player and a current coach's perspective. Let's see what Coach Brown has to say this week. Good evening, I am Coach Brown, and welcome to Coach Brown's Two Minute Drill. Hey, this evening, we're going to be talking about Jalen Hurd. And he got transferred from the University of Tennessee. Jalen Hurd was one of the top running backs coming out three years ago from Middle Tennessee. He was a five star running back. He also was on pace to be the ball's leading rusher. He was just 400 yards shy of setting that record. And you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Playing the position of tight end is probably one of the more difficult positions to play in football. And I'm not saying that because I played the position. I'm saying that because I clearly know. Now, I was told by my tight end coach, um, Bill Kayak at Tennessee State University, that in order to be an effective tight end, you have to block like a starting right tackle and catch like a number two receiver. Now, that's a skill set that not a lot of people have. Does he transfer down to an FCS school? Does he 
stay in the FBS and sit out of here? What would you do if you were Jalen Hurd? I also um, read an article that had an audio recording of the offensive coordinator from Memphis University calling Jalen Hurd, stating that they are willing to change their entire offense if he was willing to come to Memphis. Now, if you know anything about Memphis offense, they are a dominant spread team. And he said verbatim on the recording that he would change his offense to an I formation. And what's funny about that is that he actually left the voicemail on someone else's phone that he thought was Jalen Hurd's. That's pretty funny. So you guys tell me, FSP, where does Jalen Hurd go from here? All right, we're going to move on to the bum of the week. Hey, man, we're staying on the balls. I'm going to be real. The Tennessee Vols have the worst fans I have ever met in my life. They're like the Israelites in the Old Testament, in Exodus, no matter what God did for them, they are not pleased. Butch Jones was up 35-0. They couldn't punch it in on the goal line, so he brings the field goal unit out, and he gets booed. Come on, man. You're up 35-0. That's why I, I, don't, I don't care for UT fans. I'm sorry. They just, they're horrible people, man. They're disgusting. But UT fans are horrible, man. You finally got a coach that's changing the culture, and he's getting great players in there. It takes time. Ride with him. Don't be ready to get rid of that man after after a few seasons and a, a couple of bad games. It's football. You play in the SEC. It's going to be tough. So for that very reason, the bum of the week goes to the Tennessee Volunteer fans. Y'all are disgusting. Hey, I am the coach. Coach Brown it is. Root. I'm gone. That's another time Coach Brown's two minute drill. Um, so where should we? You're a Balls fan. No, I'm not. Oh, you're a Jalen Hurd fan. No, I'm not. You like Jalen Hurd? Don't do that. I don't. I don't like him, but Jalen Hurd. Where do you think he should go next year or in two years? Wherever. I think he should go to the FCS school. You think so? Going down and playing at Samford. Yeah, I just don't think he's a. He's not a player that you change your whole offense for. He ain't a dynamic player to me. He could change Memphis's offense, though, for sure, right? I mean, you would he kill the offense. Or they playing American. 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 But, oh. yeah, I mean, he can't go to – it was like, if he goes to Ohio State, that doesn't put them right there. I mean, Oh, yeah, he's not going to go. Um, what do you think, Coach? If he wants to play after college, mm-hmm. he needs to go to a FBS. For sure. Because if he goes to FCS, they're going to try to keep him at running back. And That's what he wants to do, though, right? No, nah, he wants to play wide receiver yeah. tight end. So if he does that, that gives him a year yeah. to work on his footwork, For sure. work on running routes, work on blocking, like Coach Brown said, yeah. what's the tight end you have to do. For sure. If he goes to wide out, it just gives him time to work on routes, yeah. running, get his hands better, yeah. work on his speed a little more. So I would go to FBS and give me that time to do that without having to play the next year. For sure. And if I were him, I would just stay to UC and told them to let me play tight end. They don't have a tight end on 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 their roster. I would mm-hmm. just stay there and play tight end. I mean, that's the position you're going to have to play. Uh, if not, I would go straight to the league and just kind of figure out what I'm going to do. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, it just don't make any sense. Everybody changed the position anyway in the league. I didn't. Players change their position. Yeah. I didn't know he was on the phone at y'all spending all the time Russia. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, man. And you got Jamal Lewis. Cool. Yeah, you got Jamal uh, Lewis, Travis Stevens, a yeah. uh, bunch of people. And you said, I don't Aaron know. Foster. Aaron Foster, yeah. I mean, just one of those things where and I think he's been guided wrong. Like he should he should have left when he had the feeling last yeah, year. That's, that was his that's mistake. Just, but I know what he was looking at, man. You he's know, going to be good. Be good. Yeah. yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. What it comes out, he wanted his kid. His whole life has been good, and they've been doing what he wanted to do. Yeah. So. Yeah, for sure. It happens sometimes. Yeah, you ready to start second half, coach? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. The second half is underway. All right, second half is the top seven series. We're going into our power forward position. Last uh, week we did the uh, centers, mm-hmm. and the winner of that was Demarcus Cousins. Mm-hmm. So for the first time in nearly two decades, the NBA will open up a season without two of the greatest power forwards in league history. With both Tim Duncan and Kevin Garnett retiring in 2016. So this position remains in good hands. It's the deepest position in the NBA, um, and there's plenty of top-tier talent at the top. So the list 
Again, if you didn't listen to the first, it's strictly related to their 2015 and 16 stats and performance and who has the best chance of maintaining their great play headed into this current season. We will start off with our honorable mentions, starting off with Weezy's favorite NBA player, Chris Stops Porzingis, who is 21 years old, and he averaged 14 and 7 last year. Um, the only thing that was well, a bunch of small things that kind of prohibited him from making the top seven. Mm-hmm. Um, he's seen player enough. That's, that, that's, that's, that's numeral that's enough. Number one. But he needs to kind of be a seven three. He has to work on his post up right. moves. Mm-hmm. Um, not good in pick and roll because mm-hmm. again he is seven three. Right. Um, but he's super athletic, so in turn he should be better in transition. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. also he also threw two ball hogs. I so think that's what's hurting. That's what's hurting. Number three option. Yeah, for sure. He needs to be the number one option. No, he doesn't. No. Yes, does. Over oh, Carmelo, Carmelo and Anthony. Absolutely. All of them go through him. Why? How? What he is he going to do besides he's score a mismatch, transition? He's a mismatch anywhere in the court. He can't, he can't post can't, up. He can't post up. He's 185 so his height, pounds. His height, his height, which gives him the advantage to post yeah. up, he can't do. Yeah. He can't, he can't, he, he can't do it. I feel like I, you get a, a better high percentage shot with him handling the ball. That's just a, anywhere. That's oh, just not like, okay. So you got let's say okay. No, we, let's say we take one of our people on the list. Mm-hmm. All right. So you got Al Horford down there. He's not going to post up Al Horford. He can't. He can't score on Al Horford. You know that, right? So in turn, he has uh-huh. to play in a pick and roll, and he cannot play pick and roll offense. Good. He's not good at it yet. He'll get there. He'll get there for sure. Him being, him being 21 years old, yeah. he'll get there. And then the thing is, he he he's only used to playing 30, 40 games. He, by the 30th game last year, he was, he was done. He hit the rookie wall. Yeah. So in turn, he has to get his conditioning together, which in turn is adding more weight. Right. Um, he'll be like, all right, though. Like he's improved. Yeah. You know, two points from going up to 17 right now. Yeah. Through five games. So, you know, I mean, he, he'll be good. Tell him. He just, just he needs a little more time, like you said. What he needs to do. Is kind of humble himself and come up. He could be the sixth man of the year. I'm telling you. They go ahead and start Lance Thomas at the four, mm-hmm. bring him off the bench. He'll be the first person. He can come in super quick, but in turn, he'll have more time to get into his game and play his game coming off the bench compared to Melo got to get touches. D Rose going to shoot the ball 17 times. Mm-hmm. Courtney Lee's going to get 10 shots. Where in the hell does that fit in with Porzingis? It doesn't. So in turn, I think he should come off the bench. But, you know, whatever, to help out the, the team. Because they need some bench scoring. The only person they have on the bench is Kyle Quinn and B. Jennings. What's he doing? Brandon Jennings, he averaged about eight, nine points. Yeah, he just got to find a way to get into it, man. Same situation. Same situation, for sure. Moving on to Dirk. Now, 38-year-old Dirk Nowitzki averaged 19 points a game last year. At 37. At 37. That's worth it. So, um... The thing is with him, the only reason he didn't make the list is because he's 38 years old. So in turn, his usage rate has to go down. Which he has. And he needs another player. He has it now to kind of take some of the pressure off of him, which Harrison Barnes. Dirk should retire. Dirk should have retired. Though. He should have retired. He should have retired. Last year, you know what I'm saying? I agree 100%. This, this, this would be his last year. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, come on, though, man. He's, he's the first five. battle Hall of Famer, though. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. There's no yeah. question about yeah. it. Yeah. Two championship rings? One. One. Yeah, yeah, he got one. That's it. He beat the he beat the Heat. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, but you know he's only missed fourteen games in the last three seasons. So reliable. He's, he's super reliable. It's just one of those things. They never really brought anybody in to help Dirk as he was going on the DL, yeah. like how they did Tim Duncan. Mm-hmm. And um, I think he was his career would have been looked at a little different. Right. He's still out. He's still the number one option. Yeah. So he he hasn't been playing that well this year for sure. Twelve points. Twelve points. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's move on to last but not least, Derek Favors. Um, 25 years old. He ever 16 and 8 last year. Derek Favors is one of those players. He's never going to be a 20 and 10 player, right? He's never averaged 20. But and we keep waiting. Yeah, you're waiting on Favors to, it's not keep gonna happen. to turn. It's not going to happen. It's, and I don't think it's going to happen. It's not going to happen. His game just isn't equipped to get 20. Nope. I just don't think he has enough in his arsenal. Now, granted, he is just 25 years old, so he can turn that around. But it's one of those He's been things. He's for a long time. Now. Yeah, man. He came out in his freshman year at Georgia Tech. So, um, since 2010. Um, he has the talent to be an all-star. I just don't think he'll ever be an all-star. Nah, first, first of all, he's not the number one option on that team. Yeah. So, you got Gordon Hayward. Yeah. You got Rodney Hood. You got your boy who they just paid. Yeah, they got Gobert. Who just... Oh, he called him. Oh, man. 
But the thing is, he needs to learn how to play a pick and pop four. He needs yeah. to turn himself into a pick and pop four, mm-hmm. and he can't do like that. Chris Bosh. Dak Bosh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Bosh, like mm-hmm. Lamarcus Aldridge. Right. Yeah, and it's he, hard to do. It's hard to do. Especially this it's late. It's hard to do. It's late. Yeah, for sure. It's late. It's hard. That's what Miles Turner did. And we didn't mention Miles Turner. We got some, uh, some text about that for sure. But Miles Turner turned himself into a pick and pop mm-hmm. five. Right. So. That's tough to do. But right. Derrick Favors is a player, though. With him and Gobert in your front court, they got a good young team, man. Yeah, that they had. Now, George Hill's coming off a contract, so he's this is a contract year for George That's why he's playing so good. So. You know how that goes. Yes, it's fool's goal is what I call that. You know how that goes. But you got him. You got my boy uh, Ronnie Hood. Right. You got Coach Lockboy Gordon Hayward. Right. You got Favors. Then you got Gobert. So that's a good five. Good young, young, then you young. got Joe Johnson coming yeah. off the bench. They got, they got put it together. You got Exum coming she off the bench. Be done, so. Yeah. <laughs> You got uh, Alex Burks. Right. A um, bunch of players, man. Yeah, they got a good young team. Trey Lyles went to Kentucky. He's they a player. Just, he's better than, you know, he better than Derrick Favors. In real life, like, if he played as much as Derrick Favors played. Because he's made better for that position. He's a he pick and pop it. four. Yeah, he fixed the for position. For sure. Right. Most definitely. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get started with this list, man. Let's do it. Number seven. Mm-hmm. Al Horford is number seven. Some people mm. might be hot about that. Woo. 30 years old. Last year, he only averaged 15 and 7, though. He's at the center position. So, the thing is, Al Horford. Exactly. Al Horford has been playing out of position in Atlanta his whole career. He always wanted to play power forward. Played it at Florida. Joe Kimmel was a 5. He was a 4. Um, he's been playing out of position his whole career. They have him playing the 4 now because uh, who's their center? Kelly Olin. Olin. Yeah, is their starting center. So, I think he'll be more productive at the 4. Um, because he can stretch out, he can shoot three. Yeah, he can do it. Yeah, so um, Boston, that's a good pickup for them. He's been hurt uh, the first couple of games this year, but do you think with him and Millsap, do you think that worked in the long, in the greater scheme of things? Them no. at the five and the four. Mm-mm. I just Mm-mm. Millsap might really work. What? Now he's no, about to say he's you about to say he's really not what a four. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's more of a. He's just an underspeaker. You yeah. got you. We're gonna talk about Millsap real most, soon. Most definitely. And I'm telling you, you look at his definitely. numbers. Most you be definitely. like, he's in he's like six, seven, six, eight. That's why it's not gonna work. Yeah. Did they, and, I, and I said that when they did that, I yeah. was like, oh, no, because when yeah. they got him, they kind of give me, they gonna give each other away. And it's gonna be tough for Al Horford to defend the five. He can't do it. He can't it's defend the small. five. He's gonna have to defend the four, and I oh. think he'll he'll strive. You got it. listen, man. Dude, look at this Celtics team. Got Avery Bradley at the two. Isaiah Thomas at the point. Right. Got Jay Crowder and then your young boy Jalen Brown, Brown, your boy. boy. And then um, mm-hmm. their four is Al Horford and their five is Kelly Olenek. So you look at that team. All they're missing, they need to trade to go get Jaleel Okafor. Yeah. They must, like, Jaleel Okafor. Where he go? just not playing because they got the process. Yeah, they Trust got the them. process. You know what the process is. It's Joel Embiid. Be. They can't play together. Then they got Nerlens. They, they got Nerlens. They got Sarge. They got Ben Simmons who's come speaking of we you should talk about coach? that earlier. That is a great documentary, I dog. That's, it's, it's a good documentary. I mean, it's very in depth. You see what's really going on in this. It's, it's a good documentary. We'll talk about that more in depth next week, probably. Yeah, we for sure. Time. Time. Yeah, for sure. But, man, that's a good documentary, for sure. Move on to number six, man. Mm-hmm. On my list, I think this guy, in my eyes, is maybe three, maybe two. Not on mine. Not two. All right, maybe three, maybe four. Number six is Kevin Love. Not on mine. He ain't. No, he's not two or three. You tripping. Kevin Love, if used right, which they're using him now the right way in Cleveland, his usage rate is, is up to 38, 45%, right. and he's at 21 to right. 12. Yep. The reason is that he didn't strive last year because they stuck him in a damn corner and made him shoot three. That ain't him. And that's not Kevin Love. Right. They got to use him more, man. He only averaged 16 and 10 last year. This guy averaged 26 in this league, man. He's a player. He's 21 right now. Yeah. And eight. And they're using him more. Yeah, they are. Yeah, and, you know, he just, he, they stuck him in the damn corner, made him shoot threes. He not, I mean, he can shoot, but he not. He, 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 need, to, he, need, he need to pick him up. He, need he needs move. to move. Now, of course, defense is the main issue with Kevin Love. Ain't but I think his off. defense has improved I mean, it, it, this it, year. It, it, yeah, it, 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 I mean, when you say improve, it didn't, it didn't improve for much. He, I mean, if he tried, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he yeah, was just trying that defense though. a little bit more. I mean, he also we can go back to talking about Ray Allen. Mm-hmm. Ray Allen didn't play defense until he got to Boston. 
True. Because he had to. And Paul yeah. Pierce didn't play defense until KG got to Boston. It was a, it was so, a, it was a different so it's, mindset. Exactly. You bring in a coach, coach that put, you and that. the demands defense, yeah. you're going to play defense. Well, J.J. Redd play. says it all the time. He didn't play when he was in Orlando mm-hmm. because Stan Van Gundy would not let him on the floor unless he played defense at the two mm-hmm. positions. Right. So in turn, you have to play defense. Mm-hmm. And I think it's more of an effort thing. Kevin Love is putting a little bit more effort. Uh, into playing defense, and in turn, I think he got snubbed because I think he's better than Paul Millsap. Who coming in at number five? Paul Millsap. I don't. So you starting team tomorrow? You got Paul Millsap, Kevin Love. You picking Paul Millsap? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's I tough, man. If the thing is with Millsap, though, he's so much of a better defender. Yeah, yeah. And like, he's gonna score. Yeah, man. He, he can do. He can do all the things Kevin Love can do. And defend. He, he can't and rebound. It's good. I'm mean, not as good for sure. That's it. Yeah, that's what Kevin Love wins that battle. Yeah, what other but than that? if you put Kevin Love on the Hawks team, I guess, yeah, where he, where he just the number one option, he do the same thing as Paul Millsap. Don't but it'll be just but, like in Minnesota. But it won't be the defense won't be as good. Like, uh-huh. He was top five in blocks at the four position at six eight. Like that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. So yeah, I mean, he's one of the best defenders at the four position. Mm-hmm. Um, he can pass. It's just one of those things with him. I think. Again, um, Al Horford got in the way. Yep. I mean, Dwight Howard's gonna get in the in the same space. Mm-hmm. I don't think he could play with anybody that's a a person that needs touches yeah. at the five position. He would need like a Rudy Gobert mm-hmm. or a DeAndre Jordan um, at the five. I I think the Atlanta can work though because oh, yeah. De- uh, not DeAndre, they, uh, Dwight Dwight uh, Howard. Yeah. He doesn't really need touches. No, he doesn't. Yeah. Just get him in the pick and roll. Let him get his touches off the lob like that. The thing is with Dwight, though, he, he wants, wants touches. touches. Yeah. yeah, It's too late. It's not too late. He averaged, what did he average, like 18, 19? Yeah, and like he's, 18? Playing, he's playing well right He's now. playing well right now. That's five, I six games it. in for sure. Like, oh, yeah. Boom. But this is Coach Lockboy Boy Millsap, been an all-star in this league two times. Yeah. He's cracked. Three. Three, nah, three times. Three times. Yeah. 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 Millsap's a monster. You can't really take that from him. Yeah. He's a monster. Man, but I'm telling you, um, he just... Needs he want to play because he hustles so much. Yeah, he plays hard. Like you don't want to play against him. Right, yeah, and he plays hard. You yeah. know, look at that Atlanta five. You got um, my dog, Schroeder. Dennis Schroeder. Schroeder. You got uh, Bays. You got Corver. You got Millsap. Man, you Dwight got Allen. Dwight. That's not a bad five. Nah, That's man. a. Hey, you know what? Bays is cold. No, nah, Tim yeah, Hardaway Jr. is. Bay's nice though. He ain't cold. He not cold. <laughs> Bay's <laughs> nice Bay though. Nah, he not nice. like it. Yeah. Tim Hardaway Jr. is better than him now. I don't know about that. Coming off the bench, I'm telling you, Tim Hardaway Jr. is a better basketball player than Ken Bazemore. And it, he but just got he better. Is, Bazemore plays better defense. He plays hard. He plays a little hard on defense. Yeah, but he's better. I like, think. What basketball look? What basketball look to go like, to college? Um, something on the West Coast. Yeah. Saint, yeah. Saint, 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 Saint Mary's. Nah, 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 something Saint like Saint like, like Cal State, uh, Bakersfield, yeah, yeah, something nah, crazy nah. like that. But Bays is a player though. Yeah. Exactly. Now Bays is a player. That's why they pay it. Yeah. But when we get into our top seven shooting guards and things like that, we'll talk a little bit more about Kent Bays more. But um, move on to number four, Coach. Lamarcus Aldridge, mm. who is now the man at San Antonio, yeah. who's 31 years old. Now, last year he averaged 18 and 8. You know, standing around that right now, he's at 18.8, 6.8 part of rebounds. But he now he's now the number one option on the team. Kent Bays went with the old Dominion. Wow. What the hell? Mm, wow. I said no. Right. Like, mm. uh, but he, he's now the number one option. Yeah. Uh, you know, the Spurs are they who they're gonna be. Yeah. It's, no. it's one of those systems where it's just next man up. And it takes time to get used to that system. Right. right? It takes two years to kind of get right. into the the creases and parts of that system where he could he could ball. Oh, God, he he's not. Ball. He's not. I'm sorry. He's not the one option. Kawhi Leonard's the one option. But oh, yeah, for sure. last year he was having to play alone. Tim Duncan. Even yep. though Tim Duncan was playing spurts. It was still yeah. Tim Duncan's team. And listen, he is going to, you want to talk about somebody that post, he's going to get in that, sh- in that high post, he's going to work Face you. Up yeah. and it's, uh, it's over. And get it's, it, off that man, it's crazy, man. And he's stretched out to the three-point mm-hmm. line now. I just think Lamarcus Aldridge, man, um, he gets a lot of flack, though. Yeah. And I yeah. think it's mainly because, you know, he's not overly excited. i seen Lamarcus yeah. Aldridge absolutely kill uh, the Clippers one year with in the Portland. With Portland. Man. Like, this series, the first four games, he averaged about 35 40, and he was unstoppable. Yeah, he got one of the games that look real slow. It like, does. Don't care. Yeah, and yeah. He looked like he's not playing yeah. all, but he is playing his ass off. He's he, and he's killing you, too. I, I, I wish he could have stayed in Portland with, with my boy yeah, and little, your boy. Yeah, CJ. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. 
And they need, I'm telling you, man. The Spurs are going to surprise Spurs, people, Spurs, man, that's who scares me. Yeah. In the way, I'm, they're so, like, it's, it's, they're it's bitches. Crazy. They hit the lottery with Kawhi. They hit the, it's pick the ball. Straight. Straight. Two number two, house. Six, two. Yeah. Two six two pick four. <laughs> so did it. So was a two six two pick four. Ain't, ain't no question. <laughs> but I mean, you know, oh, you know, with the Spurs though, man, it's like yeah. they 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 farm people almost like it's a baseball. Yeah. System. yeah. So you sit like, down the bitch two three years, paint a D league a little bit, like your boy. Jonathan Simmons, Cal Anderson, and, and they who was the best player come out of nowhere? Uh. Like, Jeremy like, Lin? No, 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 not, not come out of nowhere. Like, nobody seen like, how, how good they was going to be. Was it Kawhi or Damian Lillard? Coming out of nowhere. Like, nobody knew. Yeah. Kawhi Leonard. Oh, yeah, no. Damian Lillard was a top 10. He was top four. He was number four. Yeah, but he played the Weber State. Yeah, he didn't know. Clearly, they did. They gave him them four pick. That's what I'm saying. Some, somebody knew. They then didn't pick them four. Kawhi, though, I didn't think Kawhi was going to be like this. I remember Nobody watching did. Kawhi playing at San Diego State. It's a good tournament. tournament. He, he was nice, but he wasn't like this. Nah. Bro, he played the four. But, he was. But oh, once man. again, he had time to get brought along exactly. slowly because he was playing with Tim Duncan yep. and Tony Clark. Dan Malivy got thrown to the fire. Yep. And you yep. and LaMarcus Aldridge. Yep. Yeah, but Kawhi would play. He played play this rookie year. Yeah, he played, but he didn't. He wasn't a man. man. He wasn't. He wasn't even. The, yeah. He wasn't even the third option. It was yeah. Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, Manager Nolan. You know they when traded he, George Hill for him. Yeah, but he was. He he playing defense the best person. He was there. <laughs> George Hill was good for him, but he was a backup Jeez. point guard. Oh, I know they sick. Ooh, ooh, sick. Can you imagine him and Paul George out there at the same time? <sighs> It'd be trouble. It'd be trouble for sure. Trouble. Um, let's move on to number three. Blake Griffin. 27 years old, 21. This was a tricky picket for it, too. Eight and five dimes, though. People ain't talking about those five dimes coming from your foreman, which is Blake Griffin. They yeah, throwing up DeAndre and Jordan. <laughs> the dime is a dime. I know. I'm going to I'm I actually seen Blake Griffin. He shouldn't have been on this list. Who, Blake? Yes. No, Blake was, this is the thing. Why? He only played 35 games. Well, yeah, he had, but the thing is, you have to look at it, right? In those 35 games. He killed, but... Okay, you, you always get my boy flack about it. Who is that? Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade, Wade single handedly takes himself out of games. He sits down and says, I ain't gonna play tonight. He, he, he can't play back at back. At, at the end of the day it's still on he played more than thirty five games. games. He don't play back to back. He, he didn't play in my time. 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 Sometimes you sit out. The thing is with Blake, he punched the guy in the eye. <laughs> Which in turn, yeah, which was his boy, boy. broke his on, arm. I mean, broke Blake. his wrist. Come on, Blake. Then you got it. Then come on, Blake. Messed up his hamstring. So which in turn cost it. It cost it. That was, was. Is it? Yeah, it cost it the season. But you got to know his first two years. All he did was dunk. Oh, he was, it was yeah, strict. Yeah, teaching him how to play basketball. He, he turned, turned this up into a pick and pop four. Yeah, because he somebody got to him and said, "Look, Blake. Yep. I understand you're athletic. That's you, it. You can dunk at things, but let me tell you something." It's not going to last. If you want to continue to be a top power forward in this league, you have to learn how to get a mid-range yep. and a post-game. Yeah, and then the thing is, the double team come, he know how to pass. He's right. passing out. He yeah. had five dimes, yeah. man. The double team come, he's throwing it up to DeAndre. He's yeah. finding JJ in the corner. Yeah. I mean, that's that's invaluable, man. You got to have a, a player like that. Um, and Blake Griffin, in my eyes, man, if he didn't have that injury breaks his wrist, I think Blake Griffin he might, be might have been little little one, high. maybe two, might maybe. Be high. Yeah, Blake Griffin, Blake Griffin is, is this a make or break year for the Clippers? Yeah, for sure. You got to think Blow about it. Season after this. Absolutely. CP thirty one. You got JJ thirty two, thirty one. Boy, go with Jamal yeah. Crawford. I don't even know who that three is, but he's old as hell too. <laughs> now this Paul Pierce. Yeah, Paul Pierce don't even play. <laughs> Then you got Blake and DeAndre who are young. So yeah, man, that team that team is it's getting a little long in the tooth there. And they and they still haven't addressed their main problem, which they is a three. three. They haven't they've never had a three. They brought they hella can't, people they can't, in. But who 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 can they get though? They could get players. Who? They could have traded and got a young player. Who are you gonna trade though? Yeah, that's the problem. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's, they can't that's do that's it. That's what they're afraid of. Because if they trade it, it's gonna mess it up. A piece of the puzzle. Yeah. yeah. So they're yeah, looking at, they're, they're saying, okay, we'll really just take our chances with these players that we have yeah. that'll trade somebody the way that we don't know if it's going to pan out if we trade anyway. Most definitely. So I, I understand why they're doing it because yeah. 
it's not like they can get a free agent and pay nobody. Right. It'd be a, it's a great three because ain't right. no money. They don't pay Paul, pay Blake, yeah. pay DeAndre Jordan, so they don't have too much money to give up. No sense. Then they're not going to come out the West. Man, they might, man. The Clippers, man. Listen, I watched them play like two nights they ago. Might. They look they good, might. man. They might. They come out the West. No, man, listen. The Clippers look good. It's just a matter of they're going to be able to stay it's healthy. They, most and, feats and coming off the together. bench. Got Jamal Crawford, who looks 22 years old. He's really 35. He's he just a natural school. Yeah, man. He's gonna that's, why, that's why they're so dangerous. Yeah. They always have something on the bench. Yeah, man. Always. Always. Yeah, nah. Who better score? Him or Lou Williams? Or Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford. Right, Jamal Crawford. Yeah. 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 Jamal Lewis. Crawford. Because the thing is, Lou is so small. It's, and it's, it's so inconsistent. Yeah, it's, yeah. But Jamal Crawford consistently gets 16. Yeah, man. Lou Williams, I seen him fired up. Yeah, he get going. That's, that's the thing. It's it though. I think Jamal Crawford is a little bit more consistent. Yeah, for sure. Number two, mm-hmm. Draymond Chubbs, twenty six years old, fourteen, ten, and seven last year. Did anybody see that coming? No, Hardly. he didn't see that. No, nobody. He didn't see that. Ah, I'm gonna say I seen. No, you didn't. I'm not gonna say I seen him. Uh, Draymond was good at Michigan State, man. Now, Ben, you did say that. You did say Draymond Green was good. You also said Denzel Valentine was going to be good, too. Let's see how long that lasts. <laughs> um, you did. Yeah. Okay. Duke, Duke was done. Yeah, and, you know, all Bulls play. What's my boy doing? Doug's solid. Doug oh. can't, he can't defend no damn. We know he can't do that. that. We know he can do that. Draymond Green is we one of the best two defensive on-ball two-way players that we got in this league. There are not too many of them in the league. Nah, yeah, that's, that's, not, not that's not nobody does that anymore. Yeah, I agree for sure. Um, Draymond Green is the heartbeat of the Warriors team. No question about it. The person he, I think he's the most valuable person on that team. Most um, The person well, that, you saw that in Game Five, sure, in Six and yeah. Seven. <laughs> um, he just he's just a walking like just a basketball coming. player, man. He's just out there, and the thing about him. With that team, if you remove him from that team, say you need to trade somebody. Think the first same. person I'm trading is Klay Thompson. I'm not trading Dray- Draymond. I might trade Steph before I trade Dray- Draymond Green. Yeah, because you never know what you're going to get for Draymond. With the team they got now? Yeah. yeah because you, you have somebody that can do what Steph can do. Exactly. And that's why Klay Thompson, yeah. is he's, he can get rid of him. Mm-hmm. He, he, can, he, can, he can go. Yeah. On some, like, dead serious. He's the most expensive. Yeah. Awesome, I would go. Yeah, I'm t- I, I told Coach Locke, I got to trade for him right now. Dwight Howard and or either Tim Hardaway or Baysmore they gotta put the for Clay Thompson. Maybe a couple more years, but they're going to they gonna, they gonna get rid of one of them. They're going to have to. Well, if, that's if KD stays. KD will stay. He likes it. He likes it there. You can tell. Yeah, he enjoys it. I just think, but Draymond Green is the piece. He's yeah. a, he is the heartbeat of that team. No question about it. And, but him, to think that he would be the second best power forward in this league, I never saw that coming. And it's a, and and like we always say, we, we can't say if it wasn't, but it is. It's it's, it's a that perfect system. storm. Oh, it's a perfect storm. Perfect storm. Yeah. yeah. This is a little bit off subject, but have you ever seen somebody be do what Steph Curry is doing? No. After being the complete man mm-hmm. on that team and taking a significant yeah. step back, yeah, he did. Dwight Wade did. Yeah. But, that's, yeah, but not back to back MVPs though. He was the man on the team, but this man is the MVP. Well, Dwayne Wade is a different, it's a different type of player. Dwayne yeah. Wade did it, but he, LeBron still passed the ball because he knew the score. KD still passed the ball. Yeah, yeah but no, yeah. this is the thing. Dwayne Wade, and I see what you're saying, right? And this is what Weezy is saying. Uh, KD is the best player on that team. Okay. Dwayne LeBron. Wade, LeBron's right, but it's 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 getting off the same plate though. It's different. It's it's totally yeah. it's, it's different though they because score, two score he yeah. going, he, he going for they, like Steph play, needs play was, play, was scoring 26, 27, 30. Steph needs the ball in his hand I mean, just like just like D Wade need the ball in his hand. Okay. Then you go from KD and he, and he gave it to LeBron just like Steph is giving it to KD. Yeah, no, but D Wade has never been the MVP. I mean, two time MVP. Okay, then you say like yourself, this then. And they didn't, they didn't need done, KD. The, Did you know that? Dwayne Wade would be the top three shooting guard ever. Steph would not be top three point guard ever. Coach. No, he would not be. He might be top five. It's not top three. Who? Steph would not be a top three point guard ever. No, I don't think that. Dwayne Wade is the number three shooting guard ever. But you know that. But you know that's the most depleted out of all the the, the, the 
positions. If, if it wasn't right. though, it's still you can't Shit. argue with his man. Opinion. That's what I'm trying to tell you. As a kid, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Now, there's some players that didn't pan out at that two guard position. That is hard. No, I'm just telling you it's that that position guard. didn't pan out. But there's more that did. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm yeah. just saying and that's the same thing. Dwayne Wade and what Steph is doing is different. Dwayne Wade is a slasher. But he was still a scorer. He was, but he was a slasher. But he was a scorer. But you're going from a shooter. It don't matter. It's like when you're bringing in another shooter that's taking away shots, that's what he's saying. Yeah. He's still scoring, though. No, no, this is what I'm saying. No, 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 you, you're not hearing what he's saying. You're bringing in a person that's taking away do the, same thing the you do. exact same thing you do. LeBron and D-Wade are two totally different positions. And you know what LeBron's actually going to get you the ball because yeah. he's a pass first player. Yeah. I, like, I understand. KD is coming in to get buckets. Completely take over. Okay, they so. drop a play for KD to score. The winning yeah, that was a selfless move by Steph Curry, and I think it. I ain't never seen it. It won't. It won't. It'll affect his legacy. You understand what I'm saying? Like him maybe being the top point guard because they didn't need him. And Steph didn't get paid. Uh, he ain't got paid yet. Nah, he gets more go. money. His his Under Armour contract brings in more money than he ain't got paid. Yeah, but, yeah. He, but he he will be the highest paid player on the team. Dwayne Wade took a pay cut. He yeah. was the no, third. No, that first year. No, that yeah. first year. You got to think about Wade this too now. They, Dwayne Wade was reconstructed. Dwayne Wade was thirty in. years old. No, I'm talking that's about when LeBron true. came. When LeBron came in, this is in. It wasn't in his LeBron, prime. Step in his prime. Dwayne, that, that say that. got paid. Step is in his prime, and he brought in another person to get off. Right, that's true. That's that was selfless, dog. And I think it's gonna affect his legacy. He, he took a pay cut. Yeah, yeah, pay cut Steph is different from pay cut because he knew he. Knew. Listen, this he, is he, he needed it. Dwayne Wade needed no, LeBron James. No, 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 I'm saying, I think you can say Steph needed Steph did not need it. Right. Dwayne Wade needed LeBron James. Do you think Steph would have took a pay cut? Yeah. Yeah. And been the third player, third highest? Yeah. He's going to take a pay cut next year. He he, no, he's, he's, they got to make some money. They got to because he ain't never got it. And, Cla- and Dwayne, I mean, uh, he just signed a what, one year deal? Two years. Yeah, two years. With an with a, uh, option. 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 This is, the, I'm telling you, if KD does not come to, they win this title, right? St- no, I'm saying if they won the title last year, yeah. they KD's not there. Steph Curry, I'm telling you, still doing the same thing. You know, Steph Curry might be in the in the discussion as top five, and then it continue, continue, continue. I think this slows up his process of scoring of course. and all that. I'm course, telling you, man, that that was selfless. What we used to talk about, that's the most selfless move in sports. I, I've, I've ever seen. I've ever seen, dog. Other than um, when the 49ers. Uh, brought in all those players that yeah, year. Come on, Steph was breaking the records. And he shot 402 threes last year. Yeah, man, that's insane. I understand that. Number one, our last spot was Anthony Davis. Cameron man waiting on that one. Yeah, um, from the Pelicans. <laughs> 23 years old, 24 points per game, 10 rebounds, 2.4 blocks. Um, he had injuries, but people don't realize. People always say, man, well, he didn't even play. He's never missed more than 21 games That's in his it. first four seasons. It just seems like It just lot. seems like he's missed 14 games every now and then, but he's a model of consistency, and I think it's one of those things where he got duped by not being an all-NBA participant. And, it's well, it's it's, and that was and that's bullshit. It and they, pissed him off. Yeah. No, for it sure. Pissed him off. He was at least third team last and year. What, what, what did he miss out? 15 million? $24 million. That, that's what else I'm going to tell you something about AD. He needs a player on him. He don't have one. I'm telling you. That boy needs a player. He needs a player. Lance Stevenson is he, out for he six a, months. He needs a player. Yeah, he he wants to make you down. Oh, listen to me. Nah, he's straight. Though. Listen he's to straight. me. Lance if he Stevenson? don't get a player, it's going to hurt his career. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's going to hurt his career. It's going to hurt his career. Of course. Cause gonna be by, it's going to be like Kevin Love. No, I think it'll be worse. It's going to be like Kevin Love. No, it's the exact same thing. Kevin Love was 2016. He's not the best scorer that Kevin Love is. He was better scorer. Well, he, yeah. I'm, I'm, mean, saying that. I'm just saying Kevin Love the was, points. was averaging was 20 and 14 yeah, or something like that. And but nobody like, knew yeah. he was in Minnesota. He was in Minnesota. By himself. Yeah. He's going to be another option. This play. kid needs some players around him. Man. Again, his starting five. Got to that, but nobody. His starting five is Tim Frazier. You don't even know who Tim Frazier is. Right. It's crazy. Tim Frazier, um, who's that too? Lance is not there anymore. I mean, Lance is hurt, so you got somebody he gonna, weird. They're going to get a play, though, because they're going to be so bad, they're going to get a good draft. So you got Drew Holiday hurt. Tyreek Evans is hurt. Now Lance is hurt. That's who needs uh, Okafor. Who? They're not, well, yeah, they can That's use who him. They can't. They don't, who the hell are they going to trade for? He just for needs Okafor? somebody. He needs a wing score. They got Buddy, and Buddy is trash. That's your man, too. That's your man. Uh, that's too, that's a no, 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 I watched Buddy Hill play. Coach Locke know what I'm talking about. He, he is terrified, bro. Bro, 
He's a rookie. Give him some time. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Give him this, some time. This is what I'm trying to tell you. There's a dip. And you can't trust him. And you can't damn trust him. from the job. I love him, man. Stop. What is wrong with What does that have to do with anything? It's from the irons, man. What are you doing? <laughs> so our number one in the Power Forward series is AD. Anthony Davis. AD. Um, I think who has the best chance of knocking him off to be in the number one Power Forward? I say Blake Griffin. I agree. Ain't nobody but Blake Griffin. Blake, but ain't nobody gonna knock him off. I can see that for sure. Um, another one. Wait, Wait a minute. minute. Whoa. We got some people listen, don't That's we? That's right. Oh, we got people on this. I'm out of here. Yeah, you're ready to go. No, that was my ready to go. He <laughs> hey, he ought to be ashamed of himself. <laughs> We got some people, man, that they, they sent in their list. Submit we appreciate y'all. That's my fault, man. We appreciate y'all. Yeah. some people didn't. Yeah, we most appreciate definitely. the people that did. Yeah. yeah. We're going to let y'all get some shine. Man. Yeah, man. So, we're going to let you hear our boy Shine 7. Shine Watch. Yo, it's your boy Shine Watch coming at you with my top seven power forwards in the NBA today. Starting number one, I'm going with Anthony Davis. Number two, LaMarcus Aldridge. Number three, Draymond Green, number four, Kevin Love, number five, Blake Griffin, six, I've got uh, Derek Favors, and number seven, Paul Millsap. How about you, boy? All right, so Sean, she Sean was very Andy disrespectful Davis. to Blake, and I need some explanation why Blake ended up being five. Maybe because of what you were talking about, Coach. He only played 35, 35 games, probably. But ain't no way in the hell that Blake Griffin should be lower than 2 3. So he had Derek, he had an honorable mention in his top six. Derek Favors. And Al Wolf of not in his top not, six. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a consistent. Yeah. Al Wolf That's, that's his list. That's his list. Not for sure. Yeah. But, you know, Sean Watts has a little bias <laughs> towards. And I can't believe what he had Kevin Love at. Three or four. You know what I'm saying? But, but, you, but you I, said I, that. Kevin though. Love did say that. Kevin Love is the fourth best power yeah, forward in the league. You had him like that, so that's not, that's no. not bad. I appreciate you, Sean. You, you said he could be top three. He could. He could, damn it. He ain't going to be top three with them three. <laughs> he ain't going to do that. All right, so let's see. Who we got next? We got our, uh, our own homeboy. Yeah. On, on deck TV. Our yeah. boy Animal Brown. Let's see what AB got to say. Okay. FSP, what's good? It's your man Animal Brown checking in. Y'all doing the top seven NBA series. Y'all know I love this. It's the power forward time, man. I know this is supposed to be based off last year, but we're going to have to make some exceptions on a few of these. You'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, number seven, I got to go with the young boy, Porzingis. With all due respect to Chris Bosh and Dirk, I got to go Porzingis. Sorry, guys. Um, number six, I'm going to go Blake Griffin because he only played a handful of games last year. But he still deserves to be in the top seven because we all know what he can do. Number five, I'm going to go with Marcus Aldridge with the Spurs. Number four, I'm going to go with the underrated Paul Millsap with the Hawks. Number three, I'm going to go with Kevin Love with the world champion Cleveland Cavaliers. I don't believe they win without him. And plus, we've seen what he can do when it's, it's all him by himself. He put up numbers. He was a beast. Number two, I got to go with Draymond Green with the Golden State Warriors. We know what he can do, block, steal, score, boards, the whole nine. Had a great year last year. And number one, even though he had an off year last year, Anthony Davis is the number one power forward in the league. No questions, no if, and, or buts. There is my list. FSP, keep doing y'all thing. I'm out. Sound like A.B. Sontaean some, yeah. some baby or something in the background. <laughs> Well, my dog, he got the tambourine back there in the back. Shout out to my dog. Oh, what are you doing yeah, back there, man? Man. To you, man? My dog, you know what I mean? My dog been running laps around his podcast. Hey, hey, he's doing it, man. So he while he was making his list, he uh, making uh, chicken. <laughs> bacon? Holding the tambourine. He got a lot of time on his hands. Man, man. He I read that. Hey, he got man. a lot of time Shout out to A.B., man. Um, his list was trash. Um, no, it's not. He had a good list. No, it's solid. Yeah, it but, trash. Nah, but um, let me see. I didn't what? think Andy Davis had off yet, though. Come on, man. 24 and 2? <laughs> and 2? Well, that's saying that because he was hurt. He, he, he missed 14 games, man. Don't say it's an off year. You can this say it's hurt. Yeah, nah, but an off year for AD is 24 and 10. That's a hell of a year. For sure. But now he's just going bad. I'm just giving nah. him all the time. Um, surprised he didn't try to add in uh, Marcus Morris with the body's hair. I mean, from the Pistons. Yeah, for sure. We got Let's one see, more. We got one more. We got our boy Black. Let's see what he's talking about. All right. What's going on? 
Let's go and get right to this top seven power four list. Number seven, Dirk. Can't have a power four list without Dirk on there. Six was between Porzingis, Al Horford, and Derek Favors. At the end, I like Porzingis' game the best, even though Al Horford might be the better player out of all the three, but number six, Porzingis. Five, Paul Millsap. Four, Kevin Love. Three, Lamarcus Aldridge. Two, Draymond Green. And number one, without a question, Anthony Davis. Proud of you guys. Keep up the good work. One love. Shout out to Black, man. Shout out to Black. Yeah. Quiet Storm. Um, FSP family. FSP family. Yeah. Yeah. So he left off Black. He left out Black. Injuries. Injuries. Yeah. So the consensus AD is one, Draymond two. That's the consensus. Yeah. Right. Uh, Kevin Love is a lot higher than I thought, you know, like mm-hmm. what I said. But right. uh, the consensus, man, you know, nobody, you know, you got your people like Derek Favors, Porzingis. Al Horford is a person that got left off a lot, yeah, too. So, I yeah. uh, appreciate everybody giving out those lists, most man. Definitely, most nah, definitely. For sure, man. Um, we got small forwards next. Right. Um, catch up on everything else get tricky. as we wait on that one. Um, get tricky. What's up for the weekend, week? For the week, for excuse week. me. Oh, man, you know. Yeah. work. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. work. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, CMH last week. Last week was a busy week. Yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that. Show. Just trying to catch up. Most definitely. Um, Got his body. What you coach? Work. Yep. VK coming up. VK coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Need that VK. Yeah, man. I think we all do. Yeah, yeah Britt. Yeah, everybody needs to take a VK yeah, every year. Yeah, most definitely. Need that relax, um, re- relaxation. Yeah, friends. Catch up on all the past episodes. And don't forget. To tell a friend. Friend. To tell her friend, man. That we got wristbands. That we got t shirts. We got flyers. Man, most definitely. Yeah. Everything, man. Shirts on the way. Yeah, most definitely, man. Check us on the way. Yeah. Socks on the way. We ain't got socks. <laughs> we ain't got socks on the way. You're a liar. Got no you got You're a liar. I got socks on the way. You got socks. You got socks. You got socks. Y'all don't get none of that. Right. I'm cool. Make sure you got socks. Make sure you got socks. Remember that. Go follow the pages, man. IG page. What else? Facebook page. What else? Twitter Sound page. Crowd. What else? YouTube. What up, YouTube? Rate. Subscribe. Like. Follow. Yeah, Follow let us that. know, man. Um, leave it top seven. Yes, sir. On, um, on IG. Twitter. Yeah, Facebook. Twitter. Whatever, however y'all want to do it. Well, but, um, however. Yeah, let us know. Everybody Talk go to vote, it. man. Oh, go, my God. Most hey. definitely. Boy. Boy. Boy, <laughs> boy you <laughs> own to something right there. Boy, you boy. You own to something. Because... <laughs> Yes, you know what the bishop said today? What the, the bishop said? Uh, he said, if you don't vote, talk to me. It's a vote. Surely. Surely. So go vote, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I sure. can't tell you who to vote for. For sure. But just go vote. Yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah, most definitely. Vote. Exercise. Get out. Exercise, man. Exercise the right. Because your grannies, your great grandparents, you know, they ain't get the, the chances, man. man. Just, they ain't have that. They're rolling grave looking. For y'all sure. not that now. Yeah. But y'all, man, guess what they'll vote for? Talk to them. They'll vote for uh, the MTV Awards. You see what I'm saying? Oh. They'll vote for the BET Awards. They'll vote for Lil Wayne. They'll vote for Lil Wayne, retarded ass. You see what I'm saying? I'm done with Lil Wayne. Come on, man. Vote. Hey, the world would be a better place without Lil Wayne. We out of here. Woo! <laughs>